Hi, I'm John Lin, EVP and General Manager of Data Center Services at Equinix. Hi, I'm Matt Hall, Vice President of AI Solutions at NVIDIA. So really excited, we recently announced NVIDIA and Equinix working together, enabling AI supercomputer-like service on a fully managed basis globally for the enterprise. So we've got some questions here from the audience and we're going to answer a few of them today. Okay, Matt, here's the first question. What is private cloud and why does this matter for AI? That's a great question, John. So private cloud is not something new. Private cloud is a dedicated cloud for a company or an organization. So instead of a multi-tenant public cloud with lots of different companies running on a vanilla infrastructure, it's the ability for a company to build a purpose-built solution for their organization to use, a single tenant. So what we're announcing with Equinix is we're going to provide these private clouds dedicated for enterprises with a fully managed service run by Equinix. So customers can have the benefits of the cloud, but they get all the benefits of having a tailored solution run by the best in the business. Oh, thank you, Matt, please. I think this is another one for you. Uh, it's a, this is a good one. Uh, uh -oh. NVIDIA is at the top of everyone's mind, obviously, when it comes to AI these days, but um, what's unique about Equinix and why partner with us for this solution? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Just joke. Um, Equinix has been a tremendous partner for the past four years, and what sets Equinix apart is the data. Um, when you talk about AI, AI is about processing data, processing lots of data, doing it quickly, and deriving business outcomes. And Equinix has massive amounts of data. Equinix has the best interconnection in the industry. So out of all the partners out there, we've very carefully selected to do this with Equinix. Oh, thanks, Matt. I have a question for you, John. All right, here we go. What is private AI, and what are the benefits for enterprises? Well, what we're seeing at large is private AI is all about enterprises being able to control their own AI infrastructure. Uh, one of the big concerns that we're hearing from the enterprise is worries about data leakage and data protection and data sovereignty, or what data is actually going into the model that they're using, the control of the model itself. So private AI is about giving that enterprise customer the full control of all of the infrastructure, all of the data sets that they want to use to deploy for AI. What advice would you give customers who are looking into optimizing their AI strategy? So first and foremost, I'd say go now. Um, the customers that are waiting to implement AI are going to be in big trouble. Companies are running fast. They're realizing the value of implementing AI. And companies that are serious about, about AI are realizing they need to do this in a centralized fashion. They need to develop pools of resources, whether it be data, compute, knowledge, that allows the entire organization to tap into that knowledge base and resource base. So again, go now, do it in a very sensical way, do it in a way that you can leverage what you build across the entire organization. So uh, Matt, obviously a lot of talk about AI and the power requirements. How, do we, how should we think about sustainability in that context? Absolutely, sustainability is at the center of everything we're doing at NVIDIA. While the density of our deployments is getting higher in terms of the power requirements, the cooling requirements, think about what's happening in the broader data center. Mm -hmm. For each rack of GPU servers that you're deploying, you're replacing hundreds if not thousands of CPU servers. Mm -hmm. So it's actually highly efficient, far more sustainable. The more applications and workloads we can convert to GPU accelerated computing, the more sustainable the world's going to be. I love it. And then for us, it's all about making sure we're powering that with renewable energy, making sure the building that we've constructed is as efficient as possible, reducing energy waste, and really providing the transparency and reporting for our customers so that they know that they're actually hitting their own sustainability sustainability goals. <clears throat> Love the fact that you guys have announced water cooling. Yeah. Uh, 100 data centers, water cooling. Uh, fantastic to see you guys leaning in before uh, the wave hits us. So this type of infrastructure is going to require a very different way of thinking about how to power cool, the interconnectivity, and one of the reasons that we have chosen Equinix is the fact that you guys have gotten ahead of this and you're really leading the way. Well, really appreciate that. I mean, we can see where the wave is coming and uh, it's been great to be able to partner together, looking at the overall market dynamics and be able to plan ahead for this. So uh, again, 100 plus data centers and 45 metros, just ready today to be able to take this load. That's incredible. Companies are so interested in what we're going to bring to market. Mm. We're seeing financial services companies, we're seeing pharmaceutical companies express interest in doing this to make sure that they can derive the value of AI very quickly. Well, uh, thanks a ton for being here with us today, Matt, sharing your insights. Absolutely. Fantastic partnership. The announcement is just the start of great things to come. Thanks, John. Thanks.